EU member states are currently developing national energy and climate plans that will be required to contribute to equitably meeting the temperature objective of the Paris Agreement. Limiting to well below 2 degrees Celsius has an associated global carbon budget of net cumulative CO2 from 2015 that can be allocated among nations on a population basis to give national carbon quotas. Our nation-level modelling is constrained to meet a Paris-aligned cumulative CO2 limit by 2100, with or without temporary overshoot. We use a spreadsheet model created for this research to examine energy and emission scenario alternatives from 2015 to 2100, with and without the use of carbon capture and storage. CCS is used to abate fossil fuel emissions and enable negative emissions from use of BEX bioenergy with carbon capture and storage. Here we see the model output for four example scenarios for Ireland's primary energy supply as constrained by its Paris-aligned CO2 quota. Strong mitigation effort is assumed to begin at the start of 2020. In the scenario on the left, no overshoot and no CCS are allowed. In the other three scenarios, use of CCS is allowed. Even with extreme near-term reductions in unabated fossil fuel use, Ireland likely exceeds its national CO2 quota by 2030. Therefore, Ireland's good faith commitment to Paris-aligned climate action requires urgent deep fossil fuel use reduction as a primary focus to limit CO2 quota overshoot. But, in addition, achievable negative emissions through CCS within national territory or elsewhere are needed to return to the national CO2 quota level by 2100. Our modelling confirms the rapidly escalating urgency of coordinated climate action now needed by the EU and its member states if ambition is to be aligned with meeting the Paris Agreement.